All right, we listened to the whole Priest CD. The way I did it, um, some songs I listened to more than others. Um, I don't know what YouTube is going to pull down because Google has ruined the site, so, I mean, hit and miss there. Um, I had talked through many of the songs because I didn't want them to say that it wasn't a reaction video. So here's my synopsis of the OCD, Firepower Flawless, an absolute wonderful Priest song, as is Lightning Strike. Um... Lightning Strike, as with a few of the songs, the lyrics sounded like they were sort of things that they had revisited before. It's not lyrically their strongest CD, but it certainly has times when lyrically it's better than any other CD. Rise of Ruins could be one of them. So, I mean, his voice is flawless, the lyrics quality fluctuate back and forth, forth. I think some of that could be Glenn, I'm not sure. Evil Never Dies is just blistering. Absolutely blistering. Some of the uh, r real shred, hard, uh, rather intricately placed solos. Um, could have gone on longer than they did. Never the Heroes, I liked it. Gave it a, uh, uh, now this is a priest 1 to 10. Okay, we're talking about like what's on the radio. We were going to... Yeah, 9.9. .9. Uh, Priest, 1 to 10. I gave it a 6. A Necromancer, I'm not crazy about all of the lyrics. Some of them are wicked. Some of them, not so much. But musically, it has to be one of the most sonically aggressive, one of, really one of the best songs I've, I've heard Priest do uh, in a very long time. Maybe it could be one of my favorite Priest songs. I really liked it. Children of the Sun. Very good, particularly the uh, they start to expand on the guitar work at this point in the CD, and this the solid, solid song. Guardians was instrumental, reminded me of Hellion. Rising from Ruins, I thought it was the, uh, the metal bands, of course, have the epic song. I thought it was a, a success, much like Blood Red Skies. I think it had that sort of... Feel. You could tell that it was produced by the same gentleman, at least co-produced. Um, excellent song. Flamethrower, the chorus of Flamethrower made it, I gave it like an eight and a half. Flamethrower just, it might even grow on me more than that. You know, it might burn itself into me. Bad joke, I know. I'll be here all week. Flamethrower, wicked chorus. One of the most interesting choruses I've ever heard. Shows that Priest, uh, Still has surprises. Still has new things to bring to music. Spectre I liked. I had forgotten, like I said, that I had heard it, uh, the, the solo work on that, the way that they do it a few times. They start playing in, uh, in uh, harmony notes to each other. Trader's Gate. Another one. Maybe as much as anything they've ever done in terms of the longer music. Trader's Gate's just astounding. I cannot say enough good things about that song. I was just thrilled by the solo work, the structure of it, the heaviness of it. Almost worth the price of the CD just for Trader's Gate. Okay? I'm clear. No Surrender. Uh, not my favorite. <laughs> That's my least favorite on the CD, although I like the message a lot. I like the message a lot. And a Lone Wolf. Again, some of the lyrics sounded somewhat rehashed, but it's musically was just like almost like a mix of something Sabbath would have done. I had said while I was listening to it. Also, it was something I would like to hear him do with Ozzy, perhaps if they ever do tour again with like an Ozfest priest kind of thing, which I got to see. It was amazing. Um, sea of Red, again, um, maybe it's because of the time period that the producer was in. Uh, the keyboards have especially at the end of the song, remind me a little bit of Diary of a Madman. Musically, it, it doesn't necessarily have the same epic tidal wave that Rising from uh, Ruins did, but it certainly carried its own, and it's got a very powerful ending to it. Um, overall review of the CD, I don't, my, my, I don't know if I like it as much as Painkiller. I also loved Ram It Down uh, back in the day. Um, I liked 
of course, sin after sin. This one, I think, holds its own with those. It holds its own with the best of the Priest catalog. I can say that. Um, and that's my review. Firepower, Judas Priest. Thanks for listening. I did something different than politics. Hope you liked it.